Salut les amis Je suis désolée pour ma voix, elle est un peu drôle parce que je l'ai perdue la semaine dernière. Mais je crois que vous allez pouvoir me comprendre quand même. On va regarder aujourd'hui l'impératif avec les verbes essentiels. Oui, essentiels. Ces verbes-ci sont le pain et l'eau des verbes. These are essential. They are the bread and water of the verb world because they're the most commonly used. And by the way, of the 14 most commonly used French verbs, 13 of them are highly irregular. Ain't that good news? Bonne nouvelle! Allons-y, let's go. First verb is aller. Aller à quelque part. To go. Let's conjugate it in the present tense. Je vais. Tu Va. Il, elle, on. Va. Nous allons. Vous allez. Il, elle, vont. So, aller, apparently there's two verbs for to go in Latin, which is why we've got some of these conjugations beginning with V. We've got the V group, the je vais, tu vas, il, elle, on va, il, elle, vont. And then we've got the nerdy, nous and vous, allons and aller. As you know, in the imperative mood, we only use three of the conjugations, the you conjugations, tu and vous, and the nous conjugation, which will stand for let's. And we drop the subject pronouns tu, vous, and nous, just as we do in English. So if you wanted to say, go quickly, get your mum, you could either say, va vite chercher ta maman, or allez vite chercher votre maman. Let's go and have a drink. Allons boire un coup. So how would you say using two? Go to the kitchen and chop two onions and three cloves of garlic. To chop is haché. Haché and a clove is une gousse. It rhymes with ousse. Va à la cuisine et hache deux oignons et trois gousses d'ail. Let's go to work. Allons travailler. Or if you're talking about the place of work, allons au travail. Go and see them using vous. Allez les voir. Okay, a use for aller with our pronoun i, the donkey's face. In French, you have to say the word there. In English, we don't. So we say go as in go to that place, go there. In the positive command, you hook on the pronouns with a hyphen. So you would say, vas-y. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but usually with va in the imperative mood, go, the S has been dropped, maybe because it's an ER verb. But when you hook on the E, the S makes a reappearance, vas-y. Using vous, go, as in go there, or go on, or go ahead. It's a way of saying, after you, if you hold the door open, or if somebody asks you if they could take a chair, please, go ahead. Allez-y. Let's go. Allons-y. Come on, let's go. It's time to go. How would you say don't go? As in don't go there. Using to. Okay, your E in the negative command will go back before the verb. Ni va pas. And va has lost its S. Don't go there using vous. Ni allez pas. Don't go there anymore using tu. So you replace pas with plus. Ni va plus. Never go there again using vous. Never again is a PJ pajama situation. N'y allez plus jamais. To say go away from here, DC, we now need to use aller in a pronominal way. So we will need to use a reflexive pronoun and on the donkey's backside. Because you're saying go away from here. It's a way of saying, get lost. 
Va-t'en Va-t'en So here, because of the en, the toi has become t apostrophe. All these vowels. Again, go away, but this time addressing vous. Allez-vous-en! Don't go, don't leave, addressing to. Ne t'en va pas. Now the pronouns go back before the verb negative command. Again, don't go, don't leave, but this time addressing vous. Ne vous en allez pas. Our next essential verb is avoir. To have. Let's conjugate it. J'ai, tu, a, a, s, il, elle, on, a, a, or by itself. Nous avons, vous avez, il, elles, on. But you can forget all those conjugations because avoir is super irregular in the imperative. Let's take a look. Before we move on, can you just remind me of how to say I have in French? J'ai. If you take the je off, you're left with the sound e. E. The subjunctive will be based on the sound e, like I have, j'ai. So, when you want to say to somebody have, pity or something, the imperative for have in the two form is e. The same sound for I have, except we add on the letter E, but it sounds exactly the same. E. How would you say have mercy using to? Mercy or pity is pitié, pitié. E pitié. If you need to say have mercy about something, you say e pitié de, de moi or something. This time, have, the imperative, for vous. Still got the e sound, but have a guess. What could it be? It's going to end in e-z, isn't it? E-ye. E-ye, spelled A-Y-E-Z. Using vous. Have the kindness to open the door for me, please. Kindness is la gentillesse. Ayez la gentillesse de m'ouvrir la porte, s'il vous plaît. You might have said, d'ouvrir la porte pour moi. It's not wrong, but the French are more likely to say, m'ouvrir la porte. Let's have, we've had e, we've had ayez, have a guess. Ayons, A-Y-O-N-S. Let's have the courage, courage is the same but masculine, to tell them the truth openly. Ayant le courage de leur, to them, de leur dire la vérité ouvertement. So open is ouvert. But if you want to make it into an adverb, the adjective into an adverb, Usually, you will use the feminine form of the adjective, ouvert, and add on mon, which is the equivalent of our ly, openly, ouvertement. Using to, don't be afraid. Now, to be afraid is one of our avoir expressions, to have fear. Do not have fear. N'aie pas peur. Using vous, don't be ashamed. Again, it's to have shame. N'ayez pas honte. Let's not have any secrets between us. Secret is the same, but with a French accent. Not any is pas de. N'ayons pas de. Secret entre nous. Pas de, when it's spoken fast, sounds more like pad. N'ayons pas de secret entre nous. Next essential French verb is être. To be or not to be. Être ou ne pas être. Ça, c'est la question de chaque espire. 
Je suis. Tu es. Yes. Ils, elles, ont. Sounds the same, but est. Et nous sommes. With a clear M sound at the end. Vous êtes. Ils, elles, sont. You can forget that conjugation because être is super irregular in the imperative. So be plus usually an adjective or something like that, the two form is soit, S-O-I-S, soit. Be good, using two. So to say be good, you don't use bon, you use be wise or be kind or nice. Sois sage, which means wise, but it's used for well behaved. Or you could say nice, kind, also well behaved is gentil. Sois sage, sois gentil. B using vous. Have a guess. We've got soit. What do you think it might be? Soyez. S O Y E Z. Using vous. Be reasonable. A B L E words are usually the same, more or less. Soyez raisonnable. Let's be. Take a guess. Soyons. So we've got soi, soyez, soyons. Let's be clear. Clear is a girl's name. Soyons clairs. À la claire fontaine, m'en allant promener, j'ai trouvé l'eau si belle que je m'y suis baigné. Pardon. Using to. Don't be disappointed. So disappointed is déçu with a nice cedilla under that C to make it soft. Déçu. It comes from décevoir. It's a bit like recevoir, but it's décevoir. That looks like it should mean deceived, but it's a false friend. Nee, 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 nee. Because décevoir is to disappoint. The past participle, and here it's used as an adjective, is déçu. Ne sois pas déçu. Using vous. Don't be naive. Very similar in French. Ne soyez pas naïf. For masculine or naïve. For feminine. Let's not be late. We're nearly there. When you are talking about being late, as in you should have been there earlier, you use en retard. The word tard is used for either late in the day, late in the morning, late in the afternoon. But if you are late somewhere, it's être en retard. Okay. Ne soyons pas en retard. Nous y sommes presque. You could say nous sommes presque là. But of course, i replaces la and it has to go before the verb. Nous y sommes presque. Essential verb faire, to do and to make. Let's conjugate it. Je fais, F-A-I-S, tu fais. Same again. Il, elle, on. Same again, but with a T, fait. Nous, this sounds like a pheasant bird. Faisons, nous faisons. Vous, careful. It's fait. It sounds like a party. Vous faites. Ils, elles, font. Did you get the last two right? Because this is an essential verb, it's worth practicing it if you're getting it wrong a little bit. But don't worry if you do. They'll understand you. Faire is used for a huge number of expressions that are not always equivalent in English. One of them is, we say pretend, the French say faire semblant. Faire semblant. So, telling somebody, pretend. Fais semblant. Faites semblant. Or let's pretend. Faisons semblant. So, one of these expressions is to be, we use be, be careful, is using faire. Faire attention. So, be careful using to. Fais 
Fais attention! Using vous, make an effort. Faites un effort! Oh là là! Let's go shopping first. Faisons les courses d'abord. Don't play the fool using to. Now we play the fool, we act the fool, we act the goat. There's all kinds of things. The French equivalent here would be using faire. You might do the monkey or do the idiot or do the stupid, which is the same word as beast. Ne fais pas l'idiot, l'idiot. Ne fais pas le singe. Ne fais pas la bête. Have a guess. What does this mean? Oh la la. Ne fais pas cette tête. Okay. They look weird, don't they? But if you see the English, it makes perfect sense. Don't make that face. We use face, they say tête. Don't look at me like that. Let's not make them wait any longer. So no longer, not any longer. Plus. Nous les faisons plus attendre. Next essential verb is dire, to say and to tell. Let's conjugate it. Je, dis, d-i-s, tu, dis, d-i-s, il, elle, on. Dis sounds the same but with a T. Nous, disons. S between two vowels gives the S a Z sound. Disons. Vous, attention. Dit. We've got fait, we've got dit. And the last one. Il, elle, dis. Imperative. Tell us the truth. Dis-nous la vérité. Dites-nous la vérité. Let's tell them the truth. Disons-leur la vérité. Let's dire, ah, you're going to use the indirect object pronouns. Lui et leur. Dis-leur bonjour de ma part. What do you think it means? Say hello to them from me. So, de ma part is a really handy little phrase, meaning from me, or on my behalf, or for me. Say thanks to them from me. Say hello to them from me. Say goodbye to them from me. De ma part. Using vous. Say thank you to Julien from me. Dites merci à Julien de ma part. Imagine you're bartering at une brocante or une vide grenier, a car boot sale. Let's say six euros. Disons six euros. Euro. Using two. Don't tell her yet. Okay, not yet. Pas encore, keep it intact. Ne lui dis pas encore. Using vous. Don't tell me he hasn't done it yet. And your it is feminine. Okay, a little tricky this one. Ne me dites pas qu'il ne l'a pas encore fait. He has done, il a fait. He hasn't done, il n'a pas fait. But now we've got the introduction of the it, which is feminine. It has to go before the auxiliary verb, the part of avoir. Il n'a pas encore fait. Why is it fait and not fait? Annoyingly, there is no agreement if whatever you've done comes after the past participle. So if you said, qu'il n'a pas encore fait la vaisselle, there would be no agreement because la vaisselle has come after the past participle fait. But oh, somebody came up with the bright idea that if your object comes before the past participle, then it has to agree. And because it's la, you have to change the past participle to fait. Don't worry if you don't do this. Far too complicated, isn't it? Let's not say anything to the girls for the moment. 
moment is masculine. Ne disons rien aux filles pour le moment. Next essential verb, prendre, to take. Used a lot for consuming food and drink. Je prends, tu prends, il, elle, en prend. This time without the S. Nous prenons, vous prenez, il, elle prennent. Imperative, take your time. Prends ton temps. Ton temps. Ouh. Prenez votre temps. Let's take the car to go there. Prenons la voiture pour y aller. Take two if you want to. This sentence actually means take two of them. Of them is a donkey backside situation. And in the positive command, on will be hooked on to the verb with a hyphen. Prends-en deux, si tu veux. Using vous. Take one for me, please. Your one is masculine and you're addressing vous. Prenez-en un pour moi, s'il vous plaît. So you're still insinuating take one of them for me. So of them, of it, any of it, all that kind of thing is an en situation. Let's take care, as in take care of ourselves. To take care, prendre soin de. First aid in French is le premier soin. So, prenons soin. You could add on, prenons soin de nous. Even say, prenons soin de nous-mêmes. Using to. Oi! Don't take my chips! Eh! Ne prends pas mes frites! The French might say, ne me prends pas mes frites! I say, don't take my chips from me! What does this mean? Ne me prenez pas la tête. Okay, you probably guessed it doesn't mean please don't take my head. It's the equivalent of our expression, don't do my head in. Let's not take too much time. Too much. It's a tropical scene here. It's too hot in the tropics. <laughs> ne prenons pas trop de temps. Spoken at speed. Ne prenons pas trop de temps. Swallow the deux. Pas trop de temps. The next essential verb is vouloir, to want. Je veux. Ooh, an X. Qui? Tu veux. Il, elle, on veut. Sounds the same, but this time spelt with a T. Nous Voulons, vous, voulez, ils, elles, veulent. With a lot of these essential verbs, you will find that the they conjugation, the last one, the il, elle, plural conjugation, will start off like the il, elle, singular conjugation, and then go, ah, oh, yeah, but I'm also plural, so I'm going to take the middle consonant from the nous and the vous conjugations and stick that on the end, and that will be the last sound that you hear. Il, elle, veulent. Forget that though, because vouloir is super irregular in the imperative. Okay. Vouloir is to want. You don't often say to somebody as a command, want this. The way that vouloir is used in the imperative is the equivalent of us saying in English, please, Find attached or kindly don't use your phone in the silent carriage or if you'll be so kind as. It's a formal way of speaking, but you will come across it in emails or on documents. Okay, so I'm only going to give you the vous 
conjugation because it's formal and this is really the only one you will come across. Vouloir with the vous conjugation in the imperative is veuillez. Veuillez. So using veuillez for all of these examples. Please follow me, Mrs. Morel. Veuillez me suivre, Madame Morel. They may add in a little bien. Veuillez bien me suivre, Madame Morel. Kindly settle yourselves at this table. To settle oneself is s'installer. S'installer can be used for settle in, like to settle in at a table, to go and make yourself comfortable. It's also used for to settle down. Maybe you've moved somewhere, yes, we're settling down in Paris. Or perhaps your guests have arrived. And you might say, go and make yourselves comfortable in the living room. Whilst I get the drinks ready. So again, kindly settle yourselves at this table. Veuillez vous installer à cette table. Et voilà, we'll do the next batch next time. Bravo les amis, à la prochaine fois.